This assessment <clears throat> is for sagittal plane motion in the upper thoracic spine, flexion, extension. First thing you want to do is train your patient to perform the movement. So when they goose forward like this, right, this is going to create flexion at T1, T2, T3. And when they come back and retract all the way, that's going to create some extension up at T1, T2, T3. So we're going to use that movement to help us feel between the interspinous spaces of T1, T2, T3. So we'll start at T1. We'll just get our thumb in the interspinous space. And just get your patient to retract forward, to protrude forward, rather, and that you feel the space open up. And then as they come back and retract, you can assist them backwards. You should feel your digit get pushed out. If I go down to the next level, T2, T3, and do the same thing, I can feel for whether it opens up in this position and whether I get pushed back out in this position. From here, we'll do the adjustment in the seated position. We're going to anchor the patient by placing their arm on our, on our knee, right? And the contact is going to be a thumb index web with your thumb just next to the spinous process of either T1, T2, T3. Start off with some retraction, right? And then make a contact with your auxiliary hand, usually right above the eyebrows, so that your form fits nicely on the side of the head. And then start to bring your patient into lateral bending towards the side of the contact. A little bit of rotation away, and you'll notice also that I have his head against my upper chest, and this gives me some stability, all right? And from this position, I'd have my patient retract, 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 and then thrust into it for the adjustment. So the retraction gives me the coupled extension along with the lateral bending and rotation for this maneuver.